Mm, okay, so here we have an example from the book. Um, we wanted to use RK4 method with H equals to 0 0.1 on this uh, Y prime times 2XY. So this always is the uh, question that we look at. And we wanted to go from Y equals to um, x equals to 1 to x equals to 1.5. So that's the starting point. That's the endpoint of x. And your initial value for y is also 1. Right? And I wanted to kind of uh, do this with the help of um, MATLAB. So I, I will send you the MATLAB code as well. So you, you may do your homework uh, with it um, by checking your answers. So let's take a look at what I have here. Um, so here, Runga Kata method, and I copied down the examples. So that is the question uh, you saw on the slide. And the true solution, I also give it to you because we wanted to talk about the error. So without the true solution, it's hard to talk about the error. So I give you the analytic solution of y. Okay, so e to the power of x squared minus one. Um, so here I hard coded everything just because um, later on, I mean, you can change all of these, but right now I didn't, I didn't want to input these over and over again. So we're just going to, um, to just going to directly put it in. And if you wanted to change this and run it, it's just simple. You can just simply change the number inside of the uh, live script and just hit run. So let's start uh, by explaining this um, procedure. So we have the initial condition, just like what we did in class. Um, so H is the step size. Uh, so here I directly write out the starting point and the end point of, a, of X, and then H is the step size. So you directly define the range of X here. And why we want it to be a, of the same length. So we pre-allocate um, the placeholder for y. So that's a zero with the length of x. That's a, um, a vector. So both x and y are the vectors. It stores at each step what are the values for those. And y1 is equal to 1. So that's our initial condition. And I also uh, stored y true. So this is the true solution because I have the analytic solution. So I can just plug it in um, x equals to 1.5 and I can calculate what is y of 1.5 exactly. And here, this is something a little different from our previous um, practice. I defined a function. So this f x y is uh, the y prime, so it's this function. So uh, I use two uh, dummy variables for the, um, for the input variables. So um, I didn't use x and y specifically because we defined those earlier. Um, but since those are just dummy variables, I can just use whatever. Um, so I use t um, that represents x in this function and r that represents y in this function. So um, this is the structure of a um, function handle in MATLAB. So you're gonna do an at and parenthesis, all of your input variables, and then um, you have a space. Then here is, you're gonna define how this function is, um, how does this function look like? So we have two times X times Y. So in this case, um, two times T times R. Okay. So that's our function. And when you're gonna use it, you simply just do a function name and then the input variables. So you're gonna put in the values just like how you would do it on paper, right? So you have a function and then parenthesis your variables. Okay, so this is just easier because we are going to define it a lot of times. Uh, we have more case right now. So if you always gonna write it out as two times t times r is going to be a little bit complicated. So I, uh, that's why I defined it earlier. Later on, if you're doing it for a different um, y primes, just simply go to here and change it to your corresponding y prime. So you might change this as you wish. Okay, so um, after we define all of this, we go to the main loop for RK4. And remember we have four um, we have four slopes. 
So the first one is exactly just at the ith step or the uh, yeah the nth step or the ith step. We have f of x y. So you put in the current x and current y. So that's how you get k one. K two. Remember this is half step. So you have x i plus one half times h. And y also goes a half step from y of i. So y of i plus um, 0 0.5 times h times k1. And then you go to k3. So k3 is also kind of the same, right? You have um, the half step from xi and the half step from y, yi. But then in this, in this case, we have k2 instead of k1 being your um, slope. And then K4 is fully the full step going from uh, I, Xi to Xi plus one. So you have, you can either do an X of I plus H or you can do it X of X plus one, uh, X of I plus one. You can also do a, a plus one here if you want, just like what we did before. Either way, either way you want. Uh, let's just for the sake of, um, because we all have these um, half step H. So let's just keep the format. So we're going to have this and a YI um, plus K3 times the full step size. Once we have um, calculated I, uh, K1 through K4, we can define what's the next step for Y. So Y of I plus one equals to the previous step, y of i plus one sixth times k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 times h. So that's what you're going to do, right? So that's exactly what we had for our k4 in this, um, in this, um, in this uh, formula, right? Okay. So now what we're going to do is um, after we calculated the y, I'm going to display what y is. And um, here I also wanted to see the uh, true solution compared with my estimation. So um, don't worry too much if you don't understand uh, what I was doing here. Uh, these two lines is basically for me to quickly um, find all of the values for at each point for the true solution. Um, this. Okay. Um, so here, um, after I find tx and yx, I plotted all of these together. So x, y, those are the estimation. So y is your estimation. I use a circle i. So you, you're going to see later these circles. Um, that's the estimation. And then uh, the dashed line, those are the, um, the true values, tx and yx. Okay. So after we've done this, I also calculated the error. So this is the absolute value of y, the last element of y, which is y of 1.5. So your estimation of y of 1.5 and compare with the true solution that we calculated before. Okay, so let's run it with h equals to 0 0.1 first. Okay, so you see that, um, with h equals to 0 0.1, I have five steps going from one to one. Uh, this is sec one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, and five steps. So we are at 3.4902. So that is your y of 1.5 with h equals to 0 0.1. And let's take a look at the graph here. Okay, so you have these circles. Remember, these are the estimations and the dashed red line, those are the, um, the uh, values, the um, true values. So you see that we are actually pretty close. At each step is pretty close, right? And let's remember the actual error. So the error is 1.3232 e to the negative four. So it's 10 to the negative four, basically, okay? Um, so let's remember this. Uh, and is this procedure, if you find that this procedure is, um, is a little bit too 
too fast, uh, make sure that you come back to the main loop and compare that with um, the solution, uh, the um, formulas we have here and make sure that you understand at each step, what am I calculating and how did I assemble these up to find y n plus one. Um, and then for this question, after I got all of these estimations, I wanted to compare the global truncation errors when applying different h. So let's uh, go back to my program and um, we are tr going to try another h. So we tried 0 0.1 and got a 10 to the negative four um, order of error. So let's have this make this half. So now my h equals to 0 0.05, exactly half of 0 0.1. And after I run this, so you see that now I have, so now it goes to from, um, from one to around 10 steps, right? Exactly 10 steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to here. So now, um, if I take a look at the graph, I would have 11 circles. Um, so this is your initial value. So basically just 10 steps from the initial, um, initial point. And you see that is actually, so if you're just looking at, at it by eyes, it's pretty much on the line, on the true value line. But if you calculated uh, the error between y end and y true, there's still a tiny little difference. So in this case, we have 9.1378, uh, 10 to the negative six. So if we still remember that for when x equals to um, 0.1, when h equals to 0.1, my, time, uh, my step size equals to 0.1, I have something like 1.3232, e to the negative four, right? So that's, that was my um, error. And then when I use a different step size, so when I use a half step size, I get this. So let me copy and paste. I can't copy and paste. Uh, so 9.1378, 10 to the negative six, one point. 9.1378, um, all right, e to the negative six. Okay, so we are going to find the ratios, how many times this first one is bigger than the second one. So yeah, as you can see, I did this already, but we're gonna run it again. And um, so it's about 14 times. So think about that does that surprise you or do you expect this to happen? So when H becomes one half of its original size, the error becomes one over 15 or one fifteenth of its original size, right? So remember the RK4 is a fourth order Runge cutter. So the global truncation error is h to the power of four, right? So when, when I have my h, right? So if, if this is the case, I'm going to have my original h to the power of four divided by h over two to the power of four and you will see that that equals to 16. It's basically one half, uh, two to the power of four, that's 15, 16. So you see, this is actually pretty close to 16. It's in the same order. It's definitely not two to the power of three, that's eight. It's closer to 16 than eight. So um, because there are some also some uh, constants or uh, when you are actually calculating this, it's also a uh, estimation. It's not the full value. So it's not exactly 16, but it's close, closest to two to the power of four than any other power of two, right? So this is our way to um, 
roughly proof that the um, arcade four is indeed a fourth order method. So you can definitely try different ones. You can you, you can uh, further half this and see if that gives you um, four to the power of four, right? So you can see if this is um, this is uh, really what um, what the method is giving you, and you can um, try to uh, do that with different uh, step sizes, with different uh, H range, uh, the range of X, and even with a different um, with a different function. You can try this with different ones and see if you uh, still get the same um, order.